Here's a challenge for you. Take this ordinary Cush ball template and turn it into something extraordinary in your classroom. Build it. I'll show you how. Each one of these 24 circles is linked to a page. I know that because I touch the circle, the drop down menu tells me go to link, and there this one is linked to page 14. All right, this one is linked to page 9. So when I go to page 9, there is also a return button. This circle there is linked to the home page, and so forth. Each one of these is linked to the home page. Well, how do you customize it? Go. To, I'll give you an example. On this page, I have two fellas, so um, I want to pull in something incredible. I'm going to make one of them sing this, and one of them sing this, and here's my musical example. Try that again. Here's my musical example, and I want to know which one is singing this musical example. I pulled the sound. This is my sound link. I pulled it over here. When I did it, it came over as a button. I don't want that because when my little kids touch it, I don't want them to have to touch the corner icon. I want them to touch the object. Again, here, I'm going to change the sound to object. There we go. Okay, so now when I touch it, you're going to hear this. Do, 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 re, mi, re. Here's this one. Do, do, re, mi, mi, re. And so you can build in sounds or in any kind of activity right there. That's how you build that page. And then the return button goes here. Okay, so how do you customize it? It looks kind of plain, but that's okay. How do you customize it? If I right cl if I touch that, oopsie, if I touch that button and touch touch my properties tab over here, it set this color. I can change my color like that. I can attach a, an image to it, but the links are already there for you to play with. Well, let's see what happens if you create a new activity on each of these pages. Let me know how it goes.